Hey there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel and the whole point of this video is going to be about these bad boys right here. So I have done a tutorial on axolotls before in Minecraft but I thought I would do a updated tutorial for the more recent versions of the game. Uh, this tutorial is for beginners and returning players to the game and we're going to be looking at how to find axolotl mobs in Minecraft. So first off, very, very quickly here, um, these are all of the variants of axolotl you can find in the world. These four you can find in the wild, spawning naturally. This one cannot, and I'll go through that in just a moment here, but we have the pink Lucy variant, we have the brown wild variant, uh, the gold yellow variant, the cyan, and the blue. Now, the blue variant is the most interesting because this one cannot be found uh, in the wild spawning naturally. You actually have to breed the other axolotls together, and there is a very, very, very rare chance that there's a mutation that occurs in the offspring, which actually creates a blue axolotl i believe the chance is one in 1200 chance which is pretty gnarly but um just to find normal axolotls that's what i'm going to be looking at in this video but um if you guys were not aware we actually have to look for a particular biome a particular cave biome in the world so if you are not aware there are lush caves that exist in minecraft and Essentially, they are very, as the, as the whole name suggests, it's a very lush, green, overgrown sort of cave that you can find in the world. Now, it's very, very easy to find them. And my best tip in order to find an area that has a lush cave is if you find a tiger forest or a spruce forest like I'm in right now, this is the easiest place or one of the easiest places to find lush caves because these trees right here mark that underground there are lush caves actually underground right now. So as you can see, these trees stand out like a sore thumb in these kinds of biomes. So that is why I always come to these kinds of forests in Minecraft. But as you can see, there is one here and there is one over there as well and there's also one there's actually four i think in total there's one over there and one over there so they're very easy to spot they are azalea trees these trees right here and when we go underneath these we'll be able to find um what we're actually looking for but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go underground where you find the azalea trees and keep on going deeper and hopefully the lush cave will open out and you'll be able to explore a much bigger cave system so in my case it does actually open out and you see all of the the vines and the glow berries and all that kind of thing and what you're going to want to look for is clay you're going to want to look for water and clay in these lush cave areas because that is where the axolotl actually spawn so if we go through this cave system right here eventually we should be able to find some in this water so um let's have a look here there must be one around here somewhere because there's, as I say, there's loads of these little clay um, water pools in this uh, cave. So there should be some axolotl somewhere. Oh, there's one. <laughs> um, okay, we have like an axolotl trying to go up a waterfall, apparently, and trying to kill itself, I suppose. But this is a gold yellow axolotl we found right here it looks like we're uh, kind of unlucky in this case because there was only one and not a pair of axolotl but usually you do find them in pairs or let's say groups of uh you know three or four in total but um you it doesn't really matter what variants you find. I actually know there's one right here. There's a cyan axolotl right here. So we do actually have a pair right here, it looks like, and that is it. But um, if you check enough of the water pools in the lush caves, you will eventually find them. 
And as far as I know, it doesn't matter what level you're at. It just depends on what cave sub biome you're actually in. And you can then use that and you can breed them and try and get the ultra rare blue axolotl if you so desire. Now, what I would also say before I end this tutorial is that if you find a lush cave and it's not very big, then I would advise you to move on to a new one because you're more likely to find these guys if the cave system is very large and actually extends further down into the ground because the lush cave needs to be big enough for these clay deposits and the water to actually spawn. So bear that in mind. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this video right here. This tutorial should help if you're on Java or Bedrock edition of the game. It shouldn't matter what the edition you're in. So if you're on Java or, you know, Windows 10 edition, console, pocket edition, and so on, it shouldn't really matter. But hopefully this helps you out if you're new to the game or returning. So if you did enjoy the video and it helps you out, then a like, subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated. And... Make sure that you hit notification bell to stay notified of any future videos here on the channel. And the axolotl just <laughs> the axolotl just killed itself on the lava. Um, we kind of encountered quite a suicidal <laughs> axolotl right here. <laughs> oh Jesus! So we've got one left now. Boo. <laughs> oh well. Um. But if you want to check out my socials, they're going to be on screen or in the description. But have a nice time, everyone. I'll see you guys next time. Stay happy and healthy as always. And bye bye.